1786, almost all of the cemeteries in Paris started to become too full up. With no solid solution on what the people of Paris could do, their government decided to take action and move all of the bodies underground into the catacombs. This was a process that took over 12 years to do, and the result is truly terrifying. In many areas, all of which are off limits to the public, there are so many bones that they literally pile up and cover most of the area that you're walking on. The owners of the catacombs tours, where you can walk around and explore, have claimed that no one has ever gotten lost in the catacombs. Why you always lying? By this, I mean that they've never been lost in the area of the catacombs that the public pay entry to visit and walk around. But why is this? The area the tourists can legally explore is tiny in comparison to the 186 mile long, full catacombs. Only around 1% of the catacombs you can legally explore, so most people that are eager to explore around the ground have to do this illegally. Believe me when I say this, that the knowledge I'm going to share with you through the wormhole I've gone down is absolutely crazy. There are groups of people that are passionate about exploring the catacombs, and I can completely see why. The mystery down each tunnel and each room that people haven't been down in such a long time is enough for anybody to want to explore. They love the thrill and excitement of these underground, fascinating tunnels. However, they are all aware of one terrifying fact about this adventure that could resolve in death, insanity, or serious consequences. That is that there's no light source other than your own when you get deep into the catacombs. If your torch runs out of battery, you will most likely die in the catacombs, as there's no one else there to save you. Your screams will just be an empty vibration on the walls full of many skeletons, soon of which you'll be a part of. As if this place, full of millions of dead people's bones, isn't terrifying enough, I stumbled across something truly horrifying while looking into this topic, and to this day it still haunts me. It's been known that people that explore too deep into the catacombs have often gone missing and haven't been seen again which alone is beyond scary to imagine. An example of this is when Philip Aspar died in the catacombs in 1793, and his remains were not even stumbled across until 11 years later. However, an incident like this has not only happened more recently, but it was also recorded. In 1993, a man illegally exploring deep into the catacombs got completely lost. He was filming his journey and in the video, you can slowly witness the man becoming more and more scared. It's very bizarre. His arrows point in a direction. Occasionally also, he stops to photograph roomfuls of bones, which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. So basically, he's filming what he's seeing very deep inside the catacombs. Or pictures of human bones. This footage shows a lot of symbols and creepy paintings seen on the walls, which recent explorers have used to try to find the man down in the tunnels, but this revealed to be a lot harder than they originally thought. After about four, we hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden, we hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. The explorer appears to have seen something that makes him begin sprinting. He is truly petrified and drops the camera while running. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden... This video camera... An explorer on TV tried to study the part of the catacombs that the man in the video was walking around. 
I mean, there are 400 miles of tunnels like this. So I brought the tape to a cataphile, an urban explorer. Cataphiles are strange people. They're people who have this passion for the catacombs. These people go down there to find new passages, new entries, new bones. Lazar is probably the person in Paris who knows the catacombs better than, than anyone. So according to Lazar, the person is not someone who knew his way around. My intention right now is to go down with uh, and still photographer Vincent, a friend. I'm also going to take uh, an excellent sound man, Francis, to spend some time in the catacombs and try to solve the mystery. After looking around for 12 hours with a known catacombs expert, he was unable to find the area and almost became completely lost himself in the catacombs. Their lighting equipment was running low on batteries, so they decided to go back. What I find crazy is that even a man who's an explorer who uses somebody who's experienced within the catacombs to try and find this place couldn't. It just shows how unbelievably large this place is. I definitely feel like if I was exploring around here, I would be scared beyond belief and anything could be around the next corner. I can't imagine how scared the man in the video must have been. Well that is all from this video guys. If you enjoyed it then please hit the like button and subscribe with notifications on. I previously have mentioned the catacombs in a video about extreme holidays to explore, which you can view by clicking on the link in the description below. Until next time horror lovers, peace.